Hello George, how are you doing my friend? I'm coming to you in that late Tuesday... Is it? Is it Tuesday? On this late Tuesday night on 9th of October, how are you doing? Alright, so I'm sitting in front of the camera and I'm really wanting to talk about how much the paradox in Bulgaria is actually making our life a daily living. And how much that thing is super pissing me off, seriously dude. Right now, before starting everything else, I'm gonna give you a little example of what I'm talking about. Alright, so to sign the semester in my college, you gotta go and have not more than two, two, that's one and two exams that you failed last previous semester. And if you have more of these exams, you're not allowed to sign for the semester. And that's like by the rules, that's how everything should go. So there are teachers that are not obeying these rules, so that's perfect for us students. But what we should do in that situation, that's immoral for other people who are actually studying and have not more than two, that's one and two exams. And they are signing up for their semester because they study and they are not using the, the, the privilege that these teachers give to the dumb students. There's so many other paradoxes in Bulgaria. Let's talk about like freaking traffic out there. You cannot freaking cross the road without it having a threat of your life. And George, probably the biggest paradox that I wanted to talk about to you today that has actually frustrating and making me super angry for the past few days is that we don't have money. We are a poor country, we don't have money. Many, many people don't like that and they want to leave the country, but in order to leave the country, you first you have to have a little contract in the other country to obtain a visa, or you have to go and study in another country to apply for a college or university. In order to do those things, you need some money, right? And that is where the paradox comes from. We don't have money, so we want to go outside of the country so we can make some money, but to go outside of the country, you need some money. But we don't have these money, that's why we want to go outside of the country. And there, that's the paradox. Which is pissing me off, seriously. I was thinking about that for the past few days, how people from our country actually move out, they go out of the country, how they leave it, how they find a job, how they apply for it, how they find a college, how they apply for it, how did you find your college, how did you apply for it, and how the hell should I break the paradox that is upon me from that little country? When I give you looking for Alaska and you read it, you're gonna understand that last thing. How? How I'm gonna break out of that labyrinth of suffering? George, I'm gonna see you very, very soon. Now, I'm keeping my frustration to myself. Tomorrow, there is gonna be Rakia involved. I need a little bit of a breakdown. Bye. P.S. And no, I do not think that alcohol is actually a solution for the problem, no. But every once in a while, everybody needs to start from the beginning. Clear your head out. Start thinking from all over. That's how I do it. I call it recharging batteries. I'm gonna see you very soon, George. How the hell say Frank does it? I, I feel I'm creeping out people when I'm not blinking, but also I'm feeling the connection with you. Do you feel the connection with me? Do you feel it? I feel the connection with you. Can you feel the connection? Come on, feel the connection. No acting school. You feel creeped out now. Bye.